Paris may be locked down, but you will find the doors of some of its restaurants open. Take Le Baratin, a bistro in the east of the city loved by the late Anthony Bourdain. Superb, imaginative food and fantastic wine. These days, you can't drink and eat here as Bourdain did. Restaurants have been closed by the second partial lockdown this year. But this time round, Raquel Carena is back in her kitchen. This time, we decided to do takeaway, to try and be close to the people of the neighborhood. Also, to avoid sitting around doing nothing. Raquel says that the first lockdown saw her turnover fall by 60%. The lunchtime takeaway she's put in place this time should help a little. But that's not the only reason she's looking forward to the end of this lockdown. When we cook, we have to look at the people, and that's changed now. When I used to see my customers, I asked them to tell me the truth. It's a bit dry, they would say, so I'd make something else. We've lost that luxury now. Still, Raquel is one of the lucky ones. Unions say that two out of every three establishments in France's hotel and restaurant sector could be forced out of business by the pandemic. According to France's health minister, restaurants will not be opening in December, which means that Raquel's carefully crafted dishes will continue to be served in cardboard boxes and paper bags for a while longer. Melissa Bell, CNN, Paris.